Lakers have had control of this first period with just under two minutes to play. And a three-point shot by Michael Cooper. To get the ball inside to their big people, not settle for that long jump shot. Alley-oop from Cooper to Magic Johnson, who went back door. Magic now in double figures with 10. This game and has two personals. Gets it to McHale, and it's stripped away by Byron Scott, and the Lakers are on the run again. Scott. defense and the quickness to the basketball by the Lakers. They've been able to run and take advantage of the turnovers and Larry Bird is on the board for the first time in this game with a basket and a foul. That's his first basket in four tries and rookie ball here. 29 to 22 in favor of the Lakers. Byron Scott who's been red hot all year hits again. He has 10 points in the some pressure on. What a difference a year makes for Byron Scott, who has hit his... Uh, it used to be he'd struggle. If he got off slowly, he would struggle. Now he's a consistent player. Larry Bird just inside the three-point line. Now has nine, and those... They're trying to isolate Worthy there for the moment. Then they swing. Byron Scott again. It's all working for Byron Scott, having the best year of his career. Side shooter, seven-footer. Yeah, the pretty, Lakers. pretty good, but they're not getting any execution offensively. And Byron Scott with 16 points so far. He has now hit seven in a row. Minifield right now, and a steal by James Worthy. Scott is ahead of the field. He'll get two more. 18 for Byron Scott. Mikhail clears. The Celtics trailing now 46 to 35, down to 11 again, the biggest lead. Cooper. Now Worthy. James Worthy, eight points. Kareem with a rebound. This game is getting awfully physical. They go down to Worthy to pass to Michael Thompson. Second effort is good. For the Lakers. Now we've seen the last three times down the court, the Lakers get offensive rebounds. Guy hook over Gilmore. 52. Coming right back within five seconds is Magic Johnson. From Iowa, Low Hoss defending against Kareem, really getting an education. Kareem now with eight points in the ball game. And Keep in mind, Robert's game is far different from that one. Scott going inside. And He's hit his last nine shots. Byron Scott has reached his season's after 64. The Celtics, 44. Pat O'Brien will be back with the Prudential at the half after this message. On the first half, that patience is the key offensively. McHale with a turnaround. You know, the game is a simple game. When you get make your game plan, please, what KC Jones wanted to see at the start of the ball game. Bird coming around the screen by McHale, and the Celtics are three for three, and you're right. You must have been a coach somewhere along the line. Six points to zero for the Lakers so far in this period. Bird inside, and it's eight to nothing run by the Celtics starting this period. Akers. Defending against Kareem, hits the side. Well, right there we see a rookie mistake. When Kareem gets down in the low post, he score. Under 11, that is. McHale going up. And it's a nine-point game at 69 to 60. And Pat Riley doesn't like what he sees. And he'll bring in his bench. Kareem goes up, bounced around, and Bird has it. Lead pass to Dennis Johnson. And it's a seven-point game. And Riley calls for the timeout. Michael Cooper and Michael Thompson will both come in the game as the Celtics are. Bird and Magic one-on-one. -on -one. A shot for the ages. And Bird now with 21 points and seven rebounds. Celtics looking to get inside. Michael Thompson is with him. McHale working his way in. Kevin McHale now with 18 points, 10 of them. He only scored 10 points in their earlier meeting, but he was just getting back to action from surgery. You're right, though, Billy. You said McHale would be the focal point of their offense, and he scored two big on McHale. And now the Celtics can cut it to two. Ains for three. Hits. And it's a one-point game, 76 to 75. And the Celtics, Rojas, the rebound with five seconds to go. Ains with a runner. Oh, it's good with one second to play. And Worthy answers it with a missed shot, and the boss.
Boston Celtics with an incredible third period. We're down by 20, and that's what they've done to regain the lead, 80 to 76. Danny Ainge with the last shot for Boston here. And he was, the great thing about this, he was, he was aware of how much time was on that clock, making sure that he did get a good attempt at the basket. And we're going to hear from the Lakers. They're, they're allowing the Celtics to execute and make that extra pass. Minifield with a bad pass, stop. Gets the basket for the turnover. Marcus Allen of the LA Raiders enjoying the game. And handle the scoring for this ball club. Ball knocked away. Bird thought it should have been a foul. Magic goes up with a hoop, and the Lakers come out strong and regain the lead 82 to 80. And now Boston calls timeout, and this crowd is in. They've outscored the Celtics 7 to nothing so far. And now a 9 to nothing. And the Lakers lead by 5. Job defensively. Up, Dennis Johnson should have gone right up with that shot. Bird gets the roll, and Larry Bird now with 23 points with his first basket. Kareem misses the hook, and Magic is there. The basket counts and a foul, and an easy picking is against the smaller Dirk Minifield. Yeah, it's just too tough of a match. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Minifield. Bird gets the rebound and the basket. See how quick. He got that shot up again. Yeah, what he did is he... Baker's defending against Magic. Good pass by Cooper. Scott for three. And it was Michael Cooper who made that extra pass. The weak side is all... They seem to be getting some decent shots, but they're not going in. Byron Scott. 33 for Byron Scott. And it's a 12-point lead. Point lead. Dennis Johnson has a shot blocked by Michael Thompson. Three on two. Scott. That may do it. 35 for Byron. Starring Carol Burnett and her daughter, Carrie Hamilton. That's tonight on CBS. Three points shot by Byron Scott, and he's got a career high of 38 points. 